Two and a half years after a wildfire destroyed the village of Lytton, the rebuild has begun. It feels great. Uh, you know, we issued that first building permit in the fall and they actually got started construction before Christmas. So that's pretty exciting. The village says concrete was poured this week for the walls and footing of a home, the first to be rebuilt. This is our third Christmas away from our community, people living in, in you know, display, displaced, living in temporary homes in other communities. So it is, it's been very difficult. The fire broke out on June 30th, 2021, forcing more than a thousand people to flee from the area as flames quickly spread. More than a hundred buildings were destroyed and two people were killed. Residents have been calling for the rebuild to start with a rally held in October. The village's mayor, who lost her own home in the wildfire, says she doesn't know what took so long to get to this point. There was debris removal, and then there was the foundation removal, and then there was um, uh, soil remediation, and then um, and then after that, there was all the backfilling, and through everything, there was archaeology. So there was many, many pieces to it. Why it took so long, I don't know. I don't understand. BC's emergency management minister has previously said that multiple factors have contributed to what she called a very complex rebuild process, including severe environmental contamination and archaeological reviews, because the village was built on top of an ancient indigenous village and burial ground. Archaeologists have uncovered thousands of artifacts at the site, including a 7,500-year-old spear point. Both the provincial and federal governments have committed tens of millions of dollars for the village's recovery and rebuilt. O'Connor says she doesn't know how long it's going to take for Lynn to be completely rebuilt, but hopes up to 20 homes, a municipal building and a grocery store are built next year. That's going to be years, you know, in reality. Um, and it's going to be gradual. I think every year we're going to see more. The cause of the fire, which came after days of record-breaking heat, is still not clear. A Transportation Safety Board investigation didn't find a link between the fire and railway operations, while a BCRCMP investigation continues. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.